New this morning, an eerie message from Vladimir Putin as Russia persists with its invasion of Ukraine. In an unusually long public appearance for the Russian leader, Putin said, quote, the historical period of the West's undivided dominance over world affairs is coming to an end, end quote. Meanwhile, analysts say Putin is not making as much ground in Ukraine as he had hoped. In their next move, Russian troops are zeroing in on the eastern city of Bakhmut, which they say they have been trying to seize for months. Ukraine's president also says that Russia has dropped more than 30 drone attacks on the country in two days, and the U.S. is not standing idle. The Pentagon just announcing the plan to send another $275 million in aid package, including weapons, to Ukraine to help the Ukrainian forces. I want to welcome in now Paul Rykoff on the latest in Ukraine and Russia's push forward. He is the host of the Independent Americans podcast and also a U.S. Army veteran. Paul, always great to have you on. Thank you. Uh, we don't know what Putin is thinking, uh, but we are hearing what he's saying, and that's basically all we have to go on at this point. What do you take from his comments about the West? You know, I think the biggest takeaway, Marnie, is that Putin's playing a long game. He's not thinking just about the next few months. He's thinking about the next few years, and he's always been playing a long game. His, his goal has always been to drag this out, to try to drain the West, try to take away our will, try to fragment our alliances, and to closely watch our politics. He's seeing that there are political forces on the left and on the right in the U.S. that are saying, hey, if we win in, in the fall in Congress, we may reevaluate support for Russia. He knows that if Trump rises and he battles Putin, Putin uh, sorry, ba battles Biden, he may withdraw some of his support that we've seen in the past. So Putin is counting on the U.S. to get tired. He's counting on us to get fragmented. And it's also the muddy season in, in, in Ukraine right now. Things are going to slow. Vehicles can't move. People can't move. And we're coming up on the winter. So I think he's bracing for what could be more of a quagmire type situation than we've seen in the last few months. The lines start to solidify a little bit more. And he's playing to to his internal audience. He's trying to keep continuity inside the Russian public, and he's playing to allies. He's playing to Iran. He's playing to China. He's playing to others that he hopes will join him in this fight that he expects to drag on for years or even decades. Right. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.